Okay, Merry Christmas everybody. I'm back for the fourth video, so please don't faint. And once again, I need to apologize. I am just not having enough time to watch everybody's videos, and I want to watch them. I just haven't had a chance, so please forgive me. I'll get to everything as quick as I can. Over here in front of the window, just have the little wreath hanging. And they do light up, and I forgot to light them up. And hanging right there is the adorable elf in that sweet little stocking. And there's one of John's Grinches hanging on the door. And y'all just saw the video that I did of all John's Grinch stuff in the cupboard with the Ray Dunn. We were really happy with the way it turned out. On the table, I have the red vehicles. Couldn't find red trucks, but that's as close as we could get was the Woody I think that's a Volkswagen on that one. And on the table, have my Merry Christmas picture with some foliage in it. And there is one of the little Grinch heads from those candy tubes. And of course, there's a little Grinch sign. And the sugar and creamer, those are Johanna Parker from last year and the wonderful Grinch beads, and the Grinch lights. And of course, this is the little Grinch tree that our friend found for John last year, and I embellished it. And over here, it got turned around. I wonder if a cat had anything to do with that. There's the Grinch salt and pepper shakers that I showed in a haul. And that adorable Grinch mug. Stink, stank, stunk. The famous Grinch words. I'll show you back there in that two-tier tray in just a moment. There's the other beautiful doily that Juanita made for us. And more of John's wonderful Grinch pieces. And there's that sign. I've got to turn my big And look at this cute little tear tray. That was the mug we got at Barnes and Noble. And all these cute little Grinch ornaments. And here's some of the pieces John made. A little Grinch book in one of the little Grinch houses. And this is a little nodder. Light makes him bob, and he sounds like a ticking clock. And there's the little ornament that was in that card that I got from uh, Hallmark. And this is the little Anna Lee tree. That's one of my favorite ones with the little bedroom slippers on. It's so precious. 
And remember those little tins we got at Joann's? I needed a few more things for this tree, so I got John to drill them. And I hung them on the tree. And up here is the big gingerbread sign. And this is lit up. You can't, it just doesn't show up good in the daytime. And there's that wreath. And I forgot to light my big picture up. I'll show it to you when I do the living room. There's my vintage scale. There's one of the Christmas pieces from Michael's. And there's John's Grinchy bubblegum machine. Look at all those cute pieces of candy. He painted it and sanded it off. This is where a lot of the gingerbread pieces are. Annalise, Terramoto, Ray Dunn, vintage pieces like the vintage Angelus marshmallow tin. And in there is that sweet little vintage angel. Look at that face. Doesn't it look like a mischievous little thing? And of course the gingerbread house. And there's the blue sky gingerbread house. And the Ray Dunn gingerbread canister I've had for several years. And two more sweet little vintage pieces. And here's that wonderful little light-up gingerbread house that I got at Home Goods this year. The little snowman is another vintage piece. And of course, Anna Lee. I'll get back so you can see it all before I get up close. There's another one of John's Grinch pieces. And down there is a light up truck that I didn't light up. <laughs> it's hard to remember all that stuff. Cute elf that our friend gave us. More Annalise, of course. Here's some Joanna Parker pieces. Right there is that adorable little reindeer. And back there is the Lori Mitchell. And two little vintage Santas. And a little vintage reindeer on top of reindeer snacks. And these precious little vintage pieces. We've been really lucky through the years at finding those. And a majority of them have come from yard sales. And more Johanna Parker. Friends found both these little snowman pieces and the middle mug that was a Christmas gift last year from a good friend. And there's the little angels that spell out Noel. They are bales. And Santa's elf and Santa's helper with the red bird houses. I told you I was going to use the USA. For Christmas. I'm proud to be an American all year long. And then I'm going to fall over the bench <laughs> trying to back up. And of course I just did a video on all of this. This tree is pretty much like last year. I mean, things may be in a few different places. It has a few new ornaments on it from last year. But John really loves it.
And there's Max the dog. And we'll do the living room probably tomorrow. And there's a little Grinch tree. The snow cone machine. And there's the hand painted snowman lamp. And down here, it's still the same, all the bee stuff. We're expecting our kids to come in. That's why all those water containers are lined up there. I forgot to show you that. That's where I put the Grinch free zone. And over here is that wonderful big Grinch print that's under glass. And up there I put two Ray Dunn bowls with two of my vintage bowls. And a couple Grinch spatulas with Ray Dunn and the little Grinch tray back there. Vintage and new on the back of the stove. I'm proud of me, I didn't buy. The only new towels I bought this year was one new Grinch one. That's really a miracle. <laughs> the Grinch drying mat. Now let me open it. There's the Grinch bowls and the Ray Dunn ones. His Grinch cup and another Grinch cup. And here's always one of my favorite shelves with those vintage pieces. And in the center I used a different Santa pitcher and mug to what I did last year. And that red doily's one that Juanita made me. And vintage hankies. And on those doors are the same wreaths. And over here, the coffee and cocoa bar. And of course, more Grinches. And there's the big hot cocoa sign. And Ray Dunn, Terramoto, and Polish Pottery. And all the Grinch cocoa waiting to be consumed. And more of the Ray Dunn. And then there is where I did a separate video on all that. And lots of vintage up there on top of the refrigerator. Okay, this is all of the kitchen. And I'll be back tomorrow with more living room videos. Please enjoy your evening. Take time to tell someone you love them. Till the next time, bye-bye.